Welcome to my store. What are coral and seashells made out of? Okay. This is a piece of coral, this is a piece of seashell. They're both made out of cats. It's not a piece of seashell, it's a seashell. No, there's a little piece broken off there. That makes it a piece of seashell. No, the tiny piece that broke off is a piece of seashell, that's the seashell. Well, this is the other piece. But that's still a seashell. No, but this is the piece. No, that's the seashell. Yeah, and this is a piece of coral. Yes, but that's still a seashell. This could be a piece of a seashell. No, it's the seashell. No, because remember, this is a bivalve. There's two of them. So this is one piece. That's a shell, the other not piece. seashells. Uh, seashells, because seashells? Yeah, sure. Just seashells? go on. What are they made okay. of? They're made out of calcium carbonate. There's two forms. This is in the form of calcite, which is a very tight bond. This is in the form of aragonite. So that's very bond. porous. This will dissolve in fresh water faster than this one, but they'll both dissolve. But that one's very porous. Or yeah, no? well, because it's made by a lot Does that mean that it's lighter? Yeah. Well, it's lighter per volume, but this is lighter because it's small. Yeah, yeah. And, for example, say there's different colors, why would it be different colors? Why is there blue coral, red coral, white coral? Yeah. Because the way the animal lays it down, like this, when you look at the outside of a piece of red coral when it's alive, it's not red. When you look at the outside of a piece of blue coral, the coral animal that covers the old skeleton, it will have a different color than the skeleton. What makes the inside of those cup-shaped shells it's all shiny. The inside of the cup shape cell. Shells, the ones that are like big and they're kind of round and they've got like a lip on them but then on the inside they're really shiny and all different well, because colors. the animal, as he's running, oh the abalone. Yeah. Well because the animal's meat is against that and they keep laying down a layer of knacker. That's what that, sh that's what this material is called, knacker. Okay. Okay. And the shiny stuff like oysters and stuff, that's laid down by the animal. So the outside of this shell doesn't have any knacker on it because the animal isn't running its mantle over it. But if you look at a, uh, uh, if you look at a cowrie snail, the outside is smooth because the mantle wraps around it. So when you look at a cowrie and the mantle is wrapped around it, you can't actually see the seashell. Is that why like conch shells are shiny too? No, conch shells are shiny on the inside, not on the That's inside. That's what I mean on the inside. The outside actually has this uh, kind of a brownish, crusty stuff that's on it that flakes off when it yeah. dries it. What else can we do? Why do you use aquarium silicon instead of the cheap silicon from the uh, hardware store? Why do you use aquarium silicon instead of the cheap silicon from the hardware store? Well, it's silicon from the hardware store, even if it says it's 100% silicon, has elements in it as well that are toxic to the fish. And also, some of that doesn't work well underwater. You, if you look at the tube, it'll say not for use underwater. Well, you, this silicon's underwater, so you'd better find one that does. And the silicon that we use for aquariums is far more purified. It doesn't have any of those toxic chemicals in it. Okay. And also costs more. Is there a difference between black and clear, or is it just personal preference? Um, the advantage to black silicon is it doesn't show the algae. When you have clear silicon and there gets to be algae underneath the edge like this, you can see it, it's green. Whereas any algae underneath the edge of that black silicon, you can't see. Okay. Black silicon is also takes a little bit longer to dry. It's not as thick. It seems to be moister. Weird. How do you get silicon off your fingers? Wait till it dries and peel it off. Or wipe it off with a dry cloth. Yeah. Dry paper towels. Don't try washing it. Yeah. Same as oil. You take oil off with soap though. Yeah, but not by washing it. You with can water. Wash your hands to get oil off. Not with water. Soap and water? Yeah, but not with water. How does soap work? I don't know. It binds on to things and moves them apart or something. It binds on to the sticky parts of the oil that were sticking to your hands and it acts as, as a surfactant.